Hey everyone, this is Kim Quady with KimPlaysWithPaper.com. I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Mesa, Arizona, and I'm usually here Tuesday mornings to show you a little project or stamping technique or something that I have been working on on my desk. And so here it is, Tuesday morning. Um, good morning, Kay. I hope all is well with you. Um, I know that we've all been working hard on our Christmas cards in the last few weeks, or we're probably still working on them, and I know I need to make a few more. But in the meantime, um, I've received some gifts and some things left at the front door, and I've been invited places, and I need some really quick and easy thank you notes. So, um, what's going on in North Carolina today. So I am going to um, show you some simple stamping, a card that you could put together easily as thank yous or something else, um, birthdays, anything that you need um, in a hurry. It's a very simple layout and um, it's easy to do. Thanks for sharing. Also, I really do appreciate that. All right, let me switch you down to my workspace and I will get started stamping this morning. Each month, Stampin' Up! issues a simple stamping challenge. It's hashtag simple stamping. And what they ask us to do is just use rubber stamps, ink, and paper in a project, getting back to the very, very basics of rubber stamping. At a time before we had all the die cuts and punches and embossing folders and all of that, um, in this month we could do any theme we wanted and then to add a little bit of ribbon. So I thought that I would try that simple stamping challenge today um, good morning, Deb. Is sometimes it is really hard with all the tools at our disposal. We feel that we have to um, make a card with all kinds of embellishments at that, and that more is better. And it is. They're beautiful. But sometimes um, we can um, go kind of clean and simple with our cards. And I have been a clean and simple stamper for uh, a long, long time. And uh, that seems, um, it works for me, and so whatever works for you. Good morning, Deb, thanks for popping in. Um, so today I'm using the Evergreen Elegance stamp set, and that is in um, the annual catalog on page 91. Early on in the season, especially in like Christmas in July, I used this set a lot and really, really liked what, um, what I came up with. And I'm also using the Tidings of Christmas 6x6 Designer Series paper today. That's also available in the annual catalog. I've used a couple of packages. And the thank you sentiment that I'm using comes from the art gallery. I like the images in the art gallery because they're um, smaller and you can use them on um, small spaces and labels. So that's what I'm going to be using today um, for my simple stamping project. And this is the card that I designed. Um, and it it's, shows off the, the designer series paper for sure. So it uses three strips of designer series paper that measure one and a quarter by five and a quarter. Good morning, Wendy. Thanks for popping in. And then I just layered it on a soft succulent um, base. And... Um, I've got my basic white layered on my evergreen elegance and our simple stamping challenge this month let us use a little pop of ribbon. So um, that's what, I, what I'm going to be creating quickly for you today because I know that everyone has a busy schedule and there you have lots on your to-do list before um, before next week. So this is just to call your attention to this soft succulent piece. I did take a piece of eight and a half by 11 cardstock and I cut it at four and a quarter just right down the middle and then scored it at five and a half. So it has a little bit of a different opening than some of the other cards that we might have. And then I have my um, three pieces of the um, 
DSP, and actually I thought I had them in order, and if you, when you cut them off, you can cut them so that they're in order, but nobody will know the difference if, um, if they don't exactly line up. And I, um, and mine aren't going to today because I could probably sit here all day and not quite figure out the puzzle for that. Good morning, Kathy from Ohio. There we go. All right, so I'm just going to use um, a little bit of Stamp and Seal Plus. I'll get this mat out. Um, again, these measured. Um, well, I'm going to layer them on here. It helps to put them on your um, card stock and kind of line them up uh, to see where you where they're going to go best and then I usually start with the one in the middle so I won't just willy-nilly just kind of line them up in here like that um, so three pieces um, and you can you, you just think about all the different designs and designer series papers and patterned papers you have in your stash that this would work with um, you could even make this a Christmas card if you wanted to, but like I said in my intro, I really need to have some thank you cards on hand. I've gotten some lovely baked goods. I've been invited to some holiday gatherings, and it's always nice to be able to come home and send a thank you note right away. Uh, that's, um, that's just what we do as stampers is make our cards and send our cards. Whoops. Throwing paper around this morning already. That's not too much of a surprise. There we go. Good morning, Barb. How are things? Just making a simple stamping, quick and easy card that, um, and I'm thinking about, I just got, as a demonstrator, we can pre-order some of the um, supplies from the new catalog and I was thinking what if I made a valentine card um and got ready for um for the catalog and then I have a little piece just if you're wanting to recreate this card a little piece of um the basic white and that's measures three and a half by two and that's what I'll stamp on I've chosen um just this middle tree from the Evergreen Elegant stamp set, and I have my evening. Um, the the DSP, the Designer Series paper, is, is from the Tidings of Christmas Designer Series paper. It's a six by six, and uh, it's available in the annual catalog. And, and that's kind of, I think that's a really um, neutral image. So it, it says, it could say Christmas, but it could also say masculine or feminine or whatever you wanted the stamp set is the evergreen elegance and it is also in the annual catalog um our uh holiday mini is coming to a close and so a lot of the items are being retired and and they're selling out and discontinued so if there's something you want um you might want to hop over there and look at that. So that's in the um, Evergreen, Evening Evergreen. I re-inked it, so um, it's really a, a nice image. And I have my thank you sentiment from the art gallery already on my block. Um, so let me open that. Give it just a tap, tap, tap. Let me just... I love my grid paper, so I can kind of practice. Yeah, I just re-inked, so I kind of have to be careful about um, how much how much pressure I put on there. And then I'm um, just press down evenly and firmly. Good morning, April. Thanks for popping in. There we go. Thank you. Um, I know our this dries really really fast, but in case that it's still, uh, I'm gonna let it sit for a minute. I do have a piece of five and a quarter by four um, basic white for the inside. And I had a little teeny piece of the um, designer series paper left. So I thought, oh, let's let's add some fun to the um, to the inside of the that card. So um, I'm just going to slip this little piece 
on the bottom here because the six um the six by six uh when i cut it down to five and a half i had some little pieces left over good morning Teresa. thanks for popping in on this tuesday morning and i'll just put some stamp and seal plus on the back and do the inside of the card i just is kind of it just is really kind of fun i think um i've done it's sometimes you i just get in a hurry and i don't always think of the other little touches that will that will make it extra special even though it's simple stamping you can still make a you know just rubber stamps ink and paper plus the ribbon you can still make a really beautiful and striking card so i'm going to layer this basic white stamped piece onto my evening evergreen which is just a quarter larger on um, on every side and it did um it did smear just a little bit because of the ink was so fresh but i think i'll be okay i'm um i'm going to put my soft succulent ribbon on there and it will probably cover it up otherwise um off camera i'll do another one good morning christine thanks for popping in so um i usually do i like to do a faux bow a kind of a fake bow but this morning i am I'm going to um, just make, I need a little bit more um, tail there, try to make a bow, and then I'll be able to see if I can um, get rid of that little smudgy spot that I have. But my motto is it's only paper, so if I make a mistake, I can always just, I could use the other side, I could do several things, and I think I'll be fine. Um, yeah, there we go. And I'm going to use Stampin' Dimensionals to pop that up. Good morning, Sandy. And yeah, I don't know, look at my little, I'm using the edges. I'm guessing you guys do too with Stampin' Up's Dimensionals. You can use a, the entire sheet if you, if you um, cut around all of the edges. Not, that's what I like most about those. Um, oops, got Dimensionals popping off everywhere and there we go and then I'm just going to place that in the middle of my card and then we've done good morning Kathy then we've done the inside and while I have well and I also um stamped that tree on the outside of the envelope so now I have a Cute little package all ready to send out as a thank you for all those little goodies that people drop off at the door. Um, I also wanted to show you, I was kind of inspired. Uh, that's I, um, I look for inspiration in cards I receive from other people. So this week I received this card from my team member, Teresa Huffman, and um, she also used the little strips of designer series paper and some die cuts as well on that. Good morning, Tammy. Uh, so that's another variation. And then um, earlier on in the year with the last celebration and the designer series paper, this is a similar card that I created using that um, stripes, strips um, technique. So you can just see um, imagine, just imagine all the possibilities with all the different kinds of designer series paper. Um, you know, this package has the trees and the cherry cobbler and um, the stripes. So that would be a real um, kind of a, just a neutral. You can tell I've used quite a few of the pieces out of this. So. Um, and there's another neutral piece there and the coordinating colors in here are the cherry cobbler evening evergreen misty moonlight sahara sand and the soft succulent all right all righty thank you so much it was a quick morning because i know you have a lot going on i just wanted to show you some simple stamping and a quick card that um is easily reproducible it will be uh, the dimensions will be on my blog later as well as a facebook live um, a youtube video and i will be back next week i'm showing you i think i'll show you some of the um 
the handmade greeting cards I've received so far this season. There are some really beautiful ones. So thank you so much for spending part of your morning with me. Have a great rest of your day and week, and we'll see you next week. Thanks so much for popping in. Bye-bye.